Alright, yo, what's up everyone? So today I wanted to talk about two manga that, that I have read that have really disappointed to me. Because, like, I thought that they had, like, I thought, like, the ending, it's mostly just the ending that was a bit, like, was a bit unsatisfying. And I feel like it had, it should have had, like, a couple more chapters. Because there was, like, a lot of things that could have been expanded on that weren't. So, the first one is Dignified, Dignified Asleep Psyche. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but... I'll flash an image, so it's this manga, so basically the manga is basically about the main character, completely forgot his name, but he, his, like, he's in, he, his next, the person that's sitting next to him in class is basically this girl named Saika, I think that's how you pronounce it, that, like, likes to sleep in class, so one day he notices that, that she, like, one day she noticed, he notices that he's, like, she's, like, sleeping in class, but she's sleeping really weird, she's sleeping, like, really... She's sitting, standing up with her eyes closed, and then he catches her one day, and then he tells her about it, and then it, it starts, like, their daily lives of, like, him seeing that he's asleep in class, and, like, him trying to, like, help her sleep in class, because she apparently likes sleeping. So, this series, um, it's fine. I'll, at most, I'll give it, like, a 6 out of 10, because, like, I feel like... A lot of the characters, especially Saika, she doesn't have any personality. Her only personality is that she sleeps. Like it does get really boring after a while. But I still enjoy it because this this was during I read this during the time where uh, I was like really into like the slice of life romance, like Takagi san like manga. So I I kind of enjoyed it, but the ending it was it was it was low key whack. So spoilers for anyone who hasn't read it, but you might want to skip this part, but. So the ending just basically, the ending was, the ending chapter was basically just the same as any other chapter where at the end of the panel she's like, oh, have a great sleep, Saika, while she, she is like, it shows like a panel of her sleeping and then that's the end of it. Like, I read the, uh, apparently the series, maybe they they got rushed to, is uh, it was only like 40 something chapters, 49 chapters. I feel like the series either got axed or like they were rushed to finish it because of poor sales. But either way, I was just really disappointed with the ending. And especially because I feel like it had like a lot of potential to be good because there's like there was a lot of like side characters that I think could have been expanded on. For example, like bootleg Captain Levi. So it's basically if Captain Levi instead of being a savage, he was a simp. He he was honestly a really good character. Because he had, like, a crush on this other girl in the class who's, like, a fish... Who owns, like, a fisher store. And I, and he was a really cool guy. I, I really wish, like, he could have gotten more development with the other girl. Because, like, he, it was really kind of... It's kind of wholesome how he, like, fangirl over the other girl. But honestly, dude, this guy just looks so much like Levi. When I first read this, I was like, bro, is that Levi? Did he, like, somehow transport into another dimension into this? Like... Somehow got reincarnated because that guy looks like Leo. But his character was kind of interesting. He was just a, basically a comedy relief character. He was like the best friend of the main character. And the main character, speaking about the main character, he was fine. He was bland. He was low key simping too hard for this girl, man. It was a one sided love. Like, in all of this happened, I don't think she, she even liked him. She just used him to help him to help her sleep. This man legit betrayed his friend to help her sleep, bro. This man betrayed the home, the betrayed the homie just to, just for the box, man. Not even the box for a chance to get the box. But overall, I don't think the series was all that. I think the series was fun, wholesome. It's a good read. I would recommend it, but the ending is a bit whack. The ending kind of like ruined it for me because I feel like I, f I would have liked to see a lot more. It had a lot more potential, but. Overall, this, the characters are nice and fun. The artwork is actually surprisingly good for a manga about a girl sleeping, but yeah. And then moving on to the second manga. This Love is Assumption Outside for Fukugami. So, ah, I'm probably pr pronouncing it wrong, but here's like an image of it. So this series, I think it had a lot more potential than Psycho Song because they're actually like interesting characters with backstories. So the gist of it is basically Fukugami, he's like a, t a, a top student at the school. And he, like, he has his whole life planned out with, like, a plan, a note planner. And be because his family is, like, a bunch of, like, people who, like, I think it was a bunch of people who just, like, messed around a lot. 
and he doesn't want to be like that. He wants to be like a straight model person. He even decided what college he does, wants to go. Like his whole life is like mapped out on a plan. He even has like a plan for like his ideal type of girl. So like, he wants to like live his whole life through a plan. It's kind of like um that guy from Google Stray Dolls, the one with the glasses. He lives his life through like a plan. It's kind of like that. So one day he meets this girl. I completely forgot her name as well. Goes to sh she basically looks like a bootleg Chitoke from Nisekoi, but she's like she really likes animals, and he, and like and then after meeting her, he he like starts to see his life like starts to go out of his plan as he like tries to help her out and stuff. I know it sounds like really generic, but it is. But I still enjoyed it. So Fukugami, it's like every other protagonist who like eventually like begins with like oh i want to be antisocial i don't want to be and the one thing is like he's like really handsome so like he likes like every single girl likes him but like if, whenever he got confessed to he'd be like i have the ideal set of plans if you don't want to follow them you can't date me so basically all the girls all the girls obviously don't want to follow that plan so he rejects a bunch of other other girls but it's basically like hikigaya from Odegaru where like they start off as like, oh, I don't want to be social and all that. I want to stick to this. But at the end, they like change. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not really too big on that. Cause, for example, like Hikigaya, let's just talk about him. But like, I really kind of like him being like a loner, and because after like the third, like I kind of feel, I kind of like being him a loner. So like when he started to turn like kind of simpish, I didn't, I wasn't the, really the biggest fan of that. But it was still good. Or the guy was still a good series, but. Fukugami, he, he did kind of turn into a simp afterwards, even though he said he wouldn't. Basically, in this series, instead of the girl being, like, really liking him, like, we don't even know if the girl even likes him or not. But instead, it's, like, the main character being a tsundere, so I guess if you're into that, it's, it's good. This man, this man was low-key simping too hard, though. He literally traveled to another country just to see her. And all he got, he didn't even get anything out of it. So, and the girl wasn't even that good, honestly. I thought she was a really bland. Her only personality was that she liked animals, and her, I guess she was hot. She wasn't even that hot. She was just kind of cute. But I guess to him, she was hot. But I feel like this series had a lot more potential, because there was actually kind of, like, romantic elements built into it, and kind of like a story and a plot. Unlike Psycho Song, which was basically, oh, this girl sleeps, rinse and repeat. But this series, they kind of had a lot of potential. Like, his best friend and the girl's best friend, they actually kind of had, like, a little thing going on. So, I thought, like, maybe that could have been developed. He also has, like, a brother who's, like, apparently super hot. And, like, they don't really get along well. But he wants to get along well with them. I thought that could have been developed a bit more. But the ending of it was just, like, Psycho Song, really disappointing. It's basically just, like, a kiss where, like, and then the girl blushes. And apparently that's, like, something new because, like, she never blushes. Because in the, like, I think it was, like, the first chapter they kissed and she didn't blush, but at, like, the end chapters, she blushed. So, I guess it shows, like, her character development, if that's any character development at all. And, honestly, I just would have liked to see more from this series. But I feel like that's a lot, a lot of, with these, like, Slice of Light series, like, they end off, they don't usually have, like, the best endings. Well, I mean, that's typical for most of us alive. But one thing I do want to say, just want to shout out, like, S Sleepy Fox translations. Like, like I actually really like these two manga. These were, this was probably the best thing about these two manga, was that, like, the translation, the translator, like, after, like, the end of each chapter, they will always include, like, a page where they, like, break down basically a good summary of it and, like, how much they like it. And I feel like that, that actually strikes me as, like, really nice because it shows like they're really passionate about their work and they clearly care for the manga series and it was just really nice to see that so like shout out to sleepy fox translation i don't know if you're ever gonna watch this but shout out to you did a great job on the translation for these two series <laughs> even though they even though they weren't that good in my they were pretty disappointing in my opinion your translations were definitely on point so and that's pretty much it peace